I'm a web developer, but these are some of the most amazing websites I've ever seen. Our first website here is code. Let's enter. Wow. This looks absolutely insane. Is this even a website? This doesn't look like a website. Let's go to the About Us page. And this seems to have zoomed out to a full map with a little bit of a scroll effect here with little animated characters. And if we close this, it goes back to this huge 3D map. And I can run around in this map. This looks better than like Cyberpunk and other games. It runs really smoothly. I can go up to these characters and talk to them. If this is the next generation of websites, I'm at a loss. I don't think I'm going to be able to compete. I'm going to have to learn some 3D animation. Honestly, this is the kind of website that just makes you want to hit that like and subscribe button. This is way more fun and interactive than anything I've used in the past. Wow. If we click play on this guy, let's see what happens. Hello. Welcome to our app. Do you want a video tour? Sure. Tell me more. Our tool here is to add seamless sports and leisure. Wow. And now I'm going straight into a video. All right. That's cool. Um, I'll exit out of that and it takes me back here. They have a little bit of a menu here at the bottom saying navigation. Let's select that. Okay. Now that's what I call a menu. Let's go to the swimming pool and see what we can see there. That's instantly teleported me. No lag, no loading, nothing. Just straight in. If we jump back out again and head maybe to the clubhouse. Ah, very cool. And every single one of these people seem to have something to talk about. Let's see what happens if I run around. We've got a little pop-ups here. So like a little bit of gamification. Accessibility card. Nice. There's another one up here. Let's grab that. Ooh, I've got a little pop-up guy. Now that's how pop-ups should be. Not like the ones we normally get on the web. I'm pretty happy with this. I don't know how I would go about building a website like this, but this is definitely the next level of what websites might look like. And, and here's a little dashboard. We can even customize our character here. We can give them different styles and different uh, clothing too. Really cool. If this is what websites look like in the future, I think people are going to need to get some VR or AR because this is way more fun than anything I've seen. I normally don't say to add start buttons to a website, but I love the 3D effect here. This is loading me into a little bit of a car and I can sort of move around this map. It's again in that 3D environment, which I think is really cool. And it's got some instructions straight away. So use the up, down, left, right arrows to move around. Ah, cool. So I've got a little bit of a car here that can move and ooh, wow, look at that. There is some physics happening in this as well. That's really cool. So I can't push the tree out, but let's see. We've got shift to boost. We've got brake. So wow, that's that's heaps fun. This is going way faster than I can control. <laughs> that's that should not allow me to drive that fast, but apparently it's okay in here. So this is one of those ones again, I think you need VR and this would make that website look so cool. But here's our menu or what I think is our menu. We've got projects, information and playground. So let's go to information uh, and head down here and see what's what's in here. So we've got a couple of social links and to access the social links, I guess you park in front of them. Let's try parking in front of Twitter and see what happens. Oh, and then I've got a little 3D info here. Hit enter and it loads up Twitter. Now that's what I'm talking about. That's how links should happen. Uh, then we've got some more information here for activities. What else do we have here? Let's move up here to the playground. Also, I have to say this again is so smooth as a website. Let's see how its responsive design is. Like if I make it smaller, it's responsive, which is cool. Let's make it even smaller. Yeah, it's just adapting automatically. And if I expand it out again, that works. I've got a bowling game inside of this game. Wow. Okay. And then I can reset this bowling thing again. I failed at bowling. Maybe not my strongest suit. Uh, so let's just go here, maybe hit enter and give this another shot. I'm not sure how this helps me as a website to do some bowling in here, but hey, there, I got some. <laughs> uh, what else do we have here? Uh, I'm, yeah, you don't want to see my real life driving seals. 
Ooh, we've got a little bit of a jump here. So we do have physics. We do have some driving. Um, what else do we have here? Let's let's go around. We've got some blocks here, but I want to see what other information they provide on this website because otherwise it's just all lots of gimmicky website graphics without much information. So here we've got projects. So all the projects are here. Let's hit enter and they take us to some additional pages. Um, ooh, we've got the awards here with some nice little 3D logos I can sort of drive over. <laughs> Here's another project. So here for the projects, you get like a nice 3D perspective of the project, what was happening here and some nice screenshots. So if I move in closer, I wonder if I can zoom in on these. I can, yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, let's go back out and see what other projects there are here. Citrix, yeah, that's a big company. And you can just keep driving and seeing more and more testimonial projects, that's cool. What happens if I keep driving off into the distance? I guess I'll get lost. Maybe it's time for the next one. This is our next website, which is a-0.design. And this is another unique three-dimensional website, which I have noticed is the theme moving forward with some of these really cool designs. And in here, it's not as interactive as some of the other ones. It's a little bit more simple. I can use the up and down arrow to move my character or I can sort of scroll, but that's still really cool because it's making it feel like I'm actually in control of this system. This whole section here is a bit of what looks like a large menu. So let me select here. And it seems like I go into this page here with an about us and it says this way. Do I scroll? Yeah, I scroll left and here I've got some more information about who they are and what they do. The scrolling left feels unique, but it still doesn't feel as intuitive as it could be. But at least it's a different take on how you make websites. Let's keep going through here to see what else we have. So we've got this one here on experience and here we've got branding. Let's select branding to see what we get. So most of these pages look similar after that first effect. So we've got a lot of that scrolling. And here we've got some information about some of the work they do. So like this one here, a www award. So that's pretty impressive. Um, we've got examples of their work and animation here. And obviously they've worked on some pretty high class websites in the past. And that's pretty impressive in itself. But they do have a unique style here, mixing and matching 3D elements with some really cool animation. So that's pretty cool for a website. I don't know how they've done this. If I can inspect this, maybe I can have a look. It looks like it's the whole thing is a canvas. These websites are just leagues beyond anything I'm making right now, but it's a good look at what the future holds. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did hit like and subscribe, otherwise I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.